Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to introduce the uh, new Unisop ROI API. This is a feature that I discussed originally with a few fund managers and uh, more professional users, but I want to uh, want to give you uh, give everybody access and really look forward to what you guys are going to be able uh, to build with it. And the idea today is really uh, give you a perspective the way the API works, uh, walking you through the main documentation and giving you a few examples. Now, the API allows you to access all the main features of uh, the platform that you, ha uh, you have access through the UI. And specifically, you can either use... Uh, Use ROI to uh, obtain uh, the expected return, so kind of a forecast of the return of all the different pools um, in the in the system, or you can essentially, given a specific Ethereum address, get a full ROI analysis of all the units of position, investment, investments, uh, the debt address made uh, through you providing liquidity to uh, through Uniswap. And uh, the same thing you're going to be able to uh, to do with the API. Now, starting with the authentication, there's not much to say here. Uh, the API uses AP an API key. You can uh, find your key right here. And so it's a parameter you're going to have to pass uh, along with every uh, you know API call. So not, nothing nothing too special here. Now coming to the endpoints, the API currently has four endpoints. The first endpoint you uh, essentially pass a, a pair address and you get the expected return. So you get the forecast for uh, one specific uh, pool. Um, with the second endpoint, you get a data dump of all the uh, forecasts for all the pools monitored uh, via Unis Operai. I'm going to show you in a second what that means and and how how you can uh, potentially even add new pools to the system. And then the last two endpoints is really uh, more with the analysis. So the way you get a um, you know a full ROI analysis for a specific address, you with one endpoint you're going to be uh, you know run the analysis, and the second endpoint you're going to be able to retrieve the analysis when that is completed. So starting with the the, the kind of the expected return um, uh, you know endpoint, basically um, you know with this endpoint it, it's a, it's a, so first off it is a get request you're gonna need to uh, fire to to this pull return endpoint, and uh, the idea is you uh, can get all the specific ROI projections of a specific pool. Now just to put this in context, these are the same information that you would get if you come here you go in the pool section. Maybe you can select, you know, highest liquidity pools. You can get, uh, for example, Ethereum USDC. Now, here you're probably familiar with this. You get a bunch of data about the pool, all the different trending data, and these are essentially the same information you would get when you, uh, you know, call the pool um, return a request. Uh, the way you do this, you, um, you know, you pass to the API and your API key along with the contract address. Now, the contract address is the address of, uh, you know, the Uniswap. Um, uh, Ethereum contract associated with that pair. So, for example, just to give you context, you, Ethereum USDC pair, if you go on uniswap.info, is the address you will get here. So, pair slash this address. This is the address, for example, you will need to pass if you want the details of the Ethereum USDC pair. And uh, as a response, you essentially get a pool return object. Now, the pool return object, let's take a look at the way it's structured. So you get the pair address, that's the contract address you just passed. Uh, you get a list called pair tokens. These are the two assets within the, the, that pool, uh, including uh, the token name, the symbol, the address, and the logo. And then you get a couple of other uh, dictionaries, which are really what contains the return. So first you get uh, this uh, dictionary called pair trend. And within the pair trend, you have a free sub um, you know, dict dictionary called pool size, daily volume, and relative price. Now, if you look at the UI for comparison, these are essentially this data that you find right here. So um, you know, to project uh, the uh, ROI of a specific pool, you essentially need to evaluate three main factors. What, you know, what's the size of the pool, what's the daily volume, and what's the uh, relative price of the assets. And the tool, even today, exposed uh, you know, this um, uh, data evaluated 30 days ago, two weeks ago, a week ago, and then today. And these are really the assumptions that are the basis of the forecast. So, you get essentially the same detail through the API. And then the last part is really the return forecast dictionary. Now, this is the you know next 30 day projection of all the uh, component of return for that pool. And um, here you see uh, you know how much of that return is due to the fees, how much is re uh, due to uh, potentially farming uni for the pairs that have a liquidity mining program. And then what's the expected impermanent loss? What's the total return, which is basically the sum of the other three pieces? And then what's the equivalent APR, APY, you know, the annual percentage uh, yield essentially 
of this pool. Now, this information are essentially the same that uh, you know as those you you can find in this table right here. And uh, so, so that's kind of you know how the matching uh, between the API and the UI works. It's kind of one one on one, pretty much. And uh, so, by the way, I mean all these returns, uh, uh, you know, these are floats, and uh, you know just multiply by 100 and you get essentially a percentage. Uh, now, this is uh, for the, the first endpoint. The second endpoint is pretty much the same thing, um, but it's called all pool returns and is a get call again. And uh, here you only need to pass the API key. You don't even need to pass a specific address because you're going to get a data dump of all uh, you know, the, the different uh, pool uh, stats. And uh, essentially what you get back is a list uh, of a pool return object. Now, the, the, the structure of the pool return object is as uh, we, we seen just a few seconds uh, ago. And, um, and you get a list for all the pools that are monitored via Uniswap RI. Now, uh, Uniswap RI, in terms of returns, monitor the vast majority of Ethereum ERC20 uh, uh, token uh, pools, and uh, these are kind of crowdsourced via uh, you know the, the platform. Now, if you are after a specific, um, you know, a pair, then you don't see it monitoring in the, in, the, in the UI and the API. You can click here and you can add it to the system. Now, all this data in terms of pool returns are refreshed twice a day uh, because, uh, you know, we're, we're waiting for all the moving averages to, to uh, move a tiny bit before we uh, essentially refresh the analysis. Um, and uh, it wouldn't really change if, we, if they were refreshed more often. Uh, now, if you add a new pair, you're going to be able to see it uh, with in the results uh, from the next refresh of the data. Now, the, la the, the last part of the API is really how do you run a one-on-one -on -one uh, you know, full return analysis on a specific Ethereum address. Now, this is, uh, you know, really a pretty unique feature of Uniswap ROI and allows you to put an address here, click Analyze ROI, and with the UI, you, you're essentially probably familiar with this, you're getting a full, um, you know, tracking of your investment, including, you know, what are the current values, including uh, the breakdown for the pools. So, for example, this address invests in a couple of pools, Ethereum WBTC, Ethereum EWTB, and then within the pool, really, understanding all the stats of your investment now the same thing you can do it with the api so the way it works the analysis is a two-step process the first you have to essentially order the analysis of run the analysis uh, you do this by um, essentially uh, calling run analysis the uh, run analysis endpoint and um, essentially the analysis takes between 30 and 60 seconds and then after that you can you have two options either with the first request you pass a webhook URL and so you get all the data as a post um, call to your webhook with all the data or otherwise you're going to be able to retrieve the analysis by calling the retrieve analysis endpoint which is a get uh, with the request ID you got and uh, really fetch all the data. Now, let's uh, go through a real example. So uh, the real example, step one is really uh, run the analysis. So it's a post um, uh, endpoint you have to call and you need to pass your API key, the address you want to analyze, as well as an optional uh, parameter, which is the callback URL, the, your webhook. Now, if you want to, um, you know, this is optional first off, but if you want to really uh, test the API quickly and see what data are returned, I suggest you, and I put the link there, uh, to use this webhook.site uh, website. It allows you to, it's, it's a free website. You can get a free webhook. And so you can pass your webhook uh, along with your request, and you're basically going to be able to monitor live the data that are received to the, to the webhook. So when the, um, you know, request is done, the analysis is done, you're going to be able to receive the data there. That's pretty Pretty uh, convenient, and um, so if you want to test it, that that's a good option. And the example response to this call is, uh, you know, it's a status okay response with the request ID. So you're gonna get back the, the ID of the request you just submitted. And uh, so in terms of retrieving the data, you have two options again. Like either you get the data from the webhook. Otherwise, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, call this other endpoint, which is free. You can call it as many times as you want. It doesn't account for credits. And it's called retrieve analysis. That's a get endpoint. You pass your API key. You pass your request ID. And basically, once the, um, you know, the analysis is completed, you're going to be able to fetch the data back. Now, let's take a look a second at what data you're, uh, you're uh, getting back with this analysis object. So, 
once you uh, retrieve uh, the uh, the analysis object, either you know with the webhook or by calling the retrieve uh, analysis endpoint, you basically get a um, you know data structure JSON uh, structure like this. You get the address, uh, which is the address you just analyzed, the request ID. Then you have the analysis uh, um, you know key. The analysis key is essentially a list of objects. Now let's see how they match uh, the Uniswap RI UI. So when you open an address, you get essentially this page, and you get different different uh, rows here for different pools. Now, the, uh, you know, item in the uh, analysis list are essentially each pool is one item. Uh, so um, you, you may have one or more depending whether, or even none, depending whether that address interacted with Uniswap, uh, you know, with one pool or multiple pools. Now, in terms of the structure of that uh, object inside the list, you have Uniswap uh, version, so this can be v1 or v2, uh, or eventually v3 when, it, when that is out. The pair name, in this case, Ethereum Uni. The token pair is uh, you know, a list of the two assets that are in the, in the pair. As we saw, there is a you know, token name, symbol, address, decimal, uh, image, like logo. And then you have, uh, well, the contract address is the pair address, as we said before. The staking address is, for those pools that have a liquidity mining program, is the staking address where you need to pull your uh, you know, LP tokens to get uni. That's not available for every pair, but for those, uh, you're going to see the staking address here. And then most importantly, this operation details. Now, operation details is a list, and I, I want to show you what that means. So, for example, when you get into, uh, you know, one address and you have, you know, within one pool, you see here there is uh, at the bottom, there are uh, two tables, you know, one that, uh, you know, recap your investments and I want to recap your closed trades or divestment of liquidity from Uniswap. Now, each row is really one operation you made, is one transaction. And for each row, you get a bunch of data such as, you know, how many Ethereum you added, how many tokens you added, what's the relative price, what's the price at that point in terms of US dollars, um, you know, what, what was the size of the pool back then. So these are exactly the same data for each investment or divestment operation, you get the snapshot of your investment. At that point, these are really key pieces, uh, you know, um, in terms of the way the system really builds out your investment history. And most importantly, you also get a bunch of ROI um, uh, really data, which means like what was at that point in time, the ROI from the price, what uh, how you know which which was the ROI from fees from impermanent loss uh, in terms of what was the ROI from you staking uh, and, and farming uni and you get the ROIs both in USD as well as in Ethereum and this is uh, you know it matches the UI when you come here and you click this toggle you can see all the numbers as you know either in US dollars or in Ethereum so you know the you know every every parameter every uh, you know ROI parameter is, is available in the API uh, in, in both um, you know in both currencies. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is that you get essentially different operation types, as I mentioned, investments or the investment, and then you get a, a operation type called current. Now, the current is really giving you the snapshot at the time the API was uh, called, so the, uh, at the time the analysis was made, and this is really like the current state of ROI um, for that uh, pool in that address. And uh, so if you want to display it somewhere in a, your UI or in your uh, whatever data data structure and want the uh, up-to-date um, snapshot, of the investment, you really need to, to, to consider the uh, current um, you know, operation, the, the current state of uh, each pool. So uh, this is kind of a you know um, walk through uh, through the really the API. The last thing I want to mention is the usage stat, usage stats. So. In this section, you see your API key. You see also what's your mon monthly quota. So right now, you, everybody has 50 calls for free. Uh, all free users can can uh, try the API. Pro user have a thousand calls. Uh, and if you need more, if you want to integrate this uh, through your system or product or front end, whatever, you also are going to be able to buy and, and to access uh, a, a b more, you know larger data plans. You can uh, check them out if you want. And uh, yeah, so I hope this gives you kind of an overview of the API as usual. If you have any feedback question, uh, you know, let's connect, get in touch with me directly on Telegram or follow me on Twitter. This is pretty new. I really look forward to uh, seeing what, what you guys are going to be able to build with it. Um, if you like content around DeFi and specifically units of other AMMs, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, have a great day, guys. Talk soon.